The Buccaneers are ready to run back this kick. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. We're underway here. Hall's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. Winston's coming out for his first series. He's done a very good job protecting the football this season. Well, a couple things I like about Jameis Winston. I like his size. I like his natural leadership abilities. And listen, he was groomed at Florida State to be a professional quarterback. So the transition for him should be a lot easier than other rookie quarterbacks in this league. First down at the 20. Dog Martin carries the football. Well, I know it was a short run that time by the by the offense, but it's what it's going to do for you long term. Keep running that football. Try to wear the defense down. The Buccaneers from the 22 takes it from the eye. The Falcons defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Third and nine. Surveys. Canaan will be called on now to punt the football. We'll see what he can do here. That return's good for about 14. The fastest player to ever reach 16,000 career passing yards. It took him only 55 games played. Quarterback Matt Stafford. Matthew Stafford with that long, loose arm that he has, he is able to throw the football 60 yards down the field with, with just little effort. The Buccaneers with a nickel look here on defense. First down at the 48. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. As I look at all these great tight ends in the NFL now, it makes me think of the NBA. These are power forwards who said to heck with that. They want to be pass catchers, and they're good at it. The Falcons now move the chains. If you want to keep your place on the offense, then catch the pass and break a tackle and get some extra yards. That's what the guy did on that play. Nice job by him. First down at the 17. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. And they've got a lead for themselves midway through the first thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, it was a good drive that time. It had a little bit of everything in it, and it just gives you tremendous confidence as here we are halfway through the first quarter. Now you put the pressure on the other team. Paul's going to take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. The Buccaneers offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the player. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. And now we'll look at the Buccaneers lineup. They've struggled this year in the passing game. Second down after going to the ground game the first play Martin trying to fight through right up the middle of the field and here's the Falcons defense stacks up they can make a quarterback's life miserable as they'll all day be rushing and attacking and trying to rack up more numbers when it comes to hurries and sacks one of the best in the business at getting to the quarterback. Here's the handoff to Doug Martin. Scott Freeze, the one who brings him to the ground. 
Martin's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third and short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First down at the 30. Martin's met after a gain of eight. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Buccaneers take it from the 38. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. When you have one of the biggest offensive lines in the NFL in front of you, don't dance around. Doug Martin doesn't do any dancing that time. He plunges straight ahead for a first down. Now first and ten. And it's knocked down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Falcons defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. The Buccaneers have it at the 44. Murphy's going to pull in. No one's going to get him now. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. And that touchdown, Phil, here late in the first, ties the game. Yeah, it ties it up, and it gets them out of a little hole, and, of course, it gives the offense a lot of, a lot of confidence. And on the defensive side, they have struggled early, but maybe they can start to pick things up. Now ready to kick it off as we have a tie game here. Scores 7-7. Seven to seven. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 30, brought down near the 35. The Buccaneers' defense, let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. That's his first reception today. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. First down and 10. Handoff out of the eye formation. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Back here, ready to start the second quarter. And a key now is going to be which offense is able to break through first, Phil. I don't know if these offenses can break through, Jim. I think it's going to, we might end up seeing scoring on the defensive side before we see it on the offensive side. It's, it's been tough sledding for these offensive players. The line of scrimmage, the 36. If you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs, if you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more care. Curley's brought down, but has the first. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. First down at the 24. A.J. Green with the catch. Play this uh, cover three defense. Just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slant pattern that time? The Falcons get a first down. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. What a catch. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. The Falcons are ready to kick it away. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. 
The Buccaneers now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone. And so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. Falcons lined up in the nickel. Second and nine. And Stalker has the catch. They'll mark him at the 29. That's his first reception today. The Buccaneers understand just get whatever yards you can every time you want to play. That's what they do that time. It's a short completion, but look what position it puts them here. In on third down, this is something they can handle. see a defensive lineman get lucky enough or talented enough to make an interception and then show good running skills and take it all the way back for a touchdown. This guy has got some talent. Lined up now in kickoff formation. It'll be a touchback. And Vincent Jackson gearing up for this next drive. It's been a down day for him so far, Phil. It has. And, you know, if you want to get this team going, you want to find a way to get some momentum on your side, find a way to get the football to your star wide receiver. He's the guy that makes it happen. And if you get him the football, he can just pick this whole team up and give them a much better chance to win. Martin is in the backfield. Second and 12. Doug Martin. The Buccaneers trail in this one, and the running game has not been an asset. Martin's had a really hard time of it, and right now his team, with it behind, knows they have to get him to step up. Well, they do. You want your running back to step up. When you see a running game struggle like we have seen so far here today, Jim, it always comes down to this. The offensive line is getting dominated, so there's no chance for the running back to get anything done. The offensive line, they've got to change up. Buccaneers know what a situation they were in right there. It was a tough one. Third and long. What are you going to do? Well, they decide to run the football, and I agree with that. If you try to throw it down the field, it probably was going to lead to a mistake. Going to try his luck here. Games 17. The Falcons love this type of play. Of course, everybody would. When you get a good punt return, that's what you want, and of course, it helps when you have an explosive punt returner back there. The Falcons offense was pretty anemic in the early stages, but suddenly explosive here in quarter number two. Wow, have they been ever. Just turned everything around. It's just good play, good hustle, and execution by everybody on the offensive side. They bring in the extra tight end. The Falcons snap it at the 41. Gains 15. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. Falcons want to count on the running game and have done so to this point. Curley's been a huge part of it here in the first half, Phil, the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back, boy, is he taking advantage of every opportunity. Second and 10 coming up. The Falcons snap it at the 26. Could have been intercepted. Third long coming up. You're losing by a couple scores. You're on the defensive side. You must know the offense is not going to take a chance. So be aggressive and maybe get lucky and get a turnover. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Jumps high and comes down with it. Mark him down for another reception. That receiver, Phil, is a quarterback's dream. Going high in the air on a high throw and getting the reception. Oh, man, do quarterbacks love that? They throw it and think, oh, my gosh, it's bad. Makes the catch. Touchdown. The late touchdown here in the second quarter gives them a nice lead with the intermission looming, Phil. Yeah, great job on, the, on their side. They got a nice lead, but I just want to give you a little warning.
learning now this is professional football and those are professionals on the other side and they will fight back so be ready to come out here and play the same way in the second half Balls taking a knee here so the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Buccaneers offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The teams head to the locker room, and we'll be heading to the studio to our pal Larry Ridley as you watch the NFL on EA Sports. He's in the clear. The 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. When you get a kick return for a touchdown, a lot has to happen. One, it takes talent by the kick returner. But look at all the good blocks we saw down the field and the speed of the kick returner. Touchdown. The Buccaneers return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The score is 35 to 7. Paul's going to drop to a knee here, so this will come out to the 20. The Falcons defense trying to crack down yet again on the opposition, leading through two quarters and leading the way for this team. I like the way they played in the first half on the defensive side, so make sure you don't lose that thought process and that confidence that you gained in what you did in the first half and go out there and attack this offense. The Buccaneers trail right now, and you wonder how much the running game stays a part of the game plan. Martin's been shut down from his very first carry on. No balance by this offense, like you said today. They can't run the football, but I've said this all the time. It's not always about just dominating physically and blocking up front. Running backs have to do their part. They have to make good decisions, and they got to break some tackles. The Buccaneers have a third down coming up. They did a great job a week ago of converting on third down. Third down and 11. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. The offensive futility continues for this team out of the half. Even at this relatively early stage of the game, they are running out of time to get back into the game. Yeah, they are. We're seeing a trend here, right? And that is the offense is awful. And that's what it is. I don't know what they're going to do to get out of this slump. You know what? The other team is just better than they are here today. And a run back of about 11. The Falcons clearly were not content just to play it safe down the stretch. As, Phil, they've opened up the lead since halftime. I like what the offensive line is doing. They got in at halftime, got a little rest, got something cold to drink, and they've come out here, and they are tearing it up. That's his third catch of the day. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always open. If the coverage is tight, don't worry. Throw it out there. He'll make a play. Hand off made. Games 18. This is an awesome job by the head coach, the offensive coordinator, and the offense. Just keep picking up those first downs. We got a big lead here in the second half. Keep that clock running. We'll go ground. Touchdown. They're just running it up. You spend so much time in this league. Once you get in the red zone on the offensive side, all these different plays, knowing you must be efficient, you need to score touchdowns instead of kicking field goals. Well, you can feel good now because you got it in there. And the kicker's ready to go. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Buccaneers have seen this game just get away from them. As if it continues to get worse, they've still got more than a quarter to play. Well, look, it's been a good learning experience, and you realize how the ball's loose, and the defense has it. It's a good learning experience right there. You fumble the football, you learn from it, you know why you fumbled it. Next time, correct it so you don't do it again. And another 
Touchdown to increase the lead. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Falcons now ready to kick the football down the field. Hall's not going to test the coverage this time as he takes a knee. The Buccaneers just gave up some big turnover points. Let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Completion here as he was looking over the middle. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it. But what a job it is. Intercepted. mistakes for this offensive unit through the first three quarters and now they add an interception to the list yeah you make all these mistakes during a football game you're going to lose confidence and that's what we see right now on the offensive side no confidence go back to the basics start all over again that's the best thing you can do this offense has been moving the football all day long once again in the red zone they have a big lead what will they do i think they'll just try to run it in from here Hits Gronk, and that's a gain of nine. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. Stafford's completed his last six passes. Back to the air here on first down. Has the grab. Picks up about five. Looking at the play of this wide receiver, he was really on his game last week, but hasn't been the same player showcased today. Yeah, just not happening for him today. You know, you got to be a little lucky sometimes as a wide receiver. When you get open, there's got to be good protection, and the quarter in his hands, complete touchdown. A little more salt in the wound with that touchdown, and we've still got one more quarter to play. Hey, look, this is professional football. Don't look for them just to slow down because they're nice guys on the other side. They're going to play hard, so you, you better make your mind up to get out there and play hard, or you're just going to continue to get embarrassed. Paul's going to take a knee, so this will come out to the 20. The Buccaneers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Martin's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Second and eight. Martin's going to secure the handoff. The Buccaneers running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays, 
and get down there and score a touchdown. We head to the fourth quarter, and both of these teams are looking to just stay healthy. And my man, Phil Sims, is looking for a way to escape early to the airport. We've got a blowout. We're back after this. Beasley's there to make the tackle. What a good job by the defense not being fooled here in the fourth quarter. They're leading. You expect the offense to pass, but well, they throw a run in there, and you're alert, and you stop it for a short game. Second down and eight. They call his number once more. Martin takes the hit and is brought down. Here in the fourth quarter, and you're down on offense. It takes courage to call their running play, and it backfires. That time they run it, they only pick up a few yards. Winston's going to take it from the gun. Is intercepted. Martin's there to take him down. This offense had no choice but to take some chances here in the fourth quarter, but it comes back to bite him again with an interception. Well, when it's not going well and you start trying to take chances, there, there is nothing going to go right in that situation. If they get back on the field after this one, Jim, just go out there, run the football, and try to get this game over with. Second down now. The Falcons have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Curley's been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. This is third down. Curley's taking the handoff. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. He's now past the 100-yard mark on the day. First down here. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. Some of the best players on the field are outside linebackers. They can rush the passer. And how about this play this time against the outside run? Shows power, strength, and athletic ability. Gets in there and stops that play for no gain. Third down now. The Buccaneers defense now is going to go nickel. Gronkowski has it. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, Every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. First and ten. Moreno's got it on the handle. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Second down, three for the first. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. Just two minutes left in this one now. Back in a moment. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Moreno lined up in the backfield. He'll get it again. Going to take it the distance. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done, and this team definitely has one. And he's met head on right there at the 20. The Buccaneers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. You got to deal with it. Ball's out. They recover their own fumble. Well, 
the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. Jackson is tackled down. Ends up picking up 13. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. The Buccaneers are coming off a hard-fought victory. And you wonder on some level if that sort of played into the letdown we're seeing here today. Well, maybe it did. Maybe there was such a relief of winning that close game last week. They're just not the same. They haven't put a great effort forward, and that's why they're losing. Wants to give it a go here. Still on his feet. Game 20. Falcons go, there's three points. For the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking, they get it done. The Falcons offense takes the field and what is in essence an encore foul to the crowd here as they have been the dominant team all game long and time is running out. This is when I was at my best when I played Jim. When we were winning, I came out there late in the game too. I could kneel down and kill the clock as good as any quarterback in history. Freeman's taken down at the 46. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You've got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running it. He's got over 110 yards rushing on the day. Just 33 yards to go to the end zone. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Well, this is not a surprise, Jim. This is what you do. You run the football, you play the clock. This is called managing the game, and it's all up to the head coach getting this done. Well, this is another win today, and things are starting to get interesting with this undefeated streak. Boy, it really is. You know what? Anytime in the NFL, once you get past six games and you're undefeated, what happens? Everybody goes, what do you think? Can they go the whole season? I don't know about that, but right now they're playing very, very well.